In less than three years, Tesla will launch four generations of humanoid robots, with Gen 3 set to arrive in December, wrapping up a year focused on Elon Musk's keyword automation. Oh my goodness! And you should remember that Tesla has never had any experience in this field, yet they forced major competitors like Boston Dynamics to follow suit. Now, we don't know what word they use to describe their speed, maybe flash, but it's so fast that every day, optimists get an update. Elon just made a big announcement that could potentially lead to Tesla renting out robots before officially even selling them. Welcome to Tesla Car World. Okay, so as we know, Tesla offers a rental program for all of their products, and Optimus is no exception. As Elon stated, bots would be offered both as rentals as well as to buy but the former first. In our opinion, renting Optimus is a wise strategy for Tesla. Customers can experience Tesla's advanced technologies without having to buy it right away, allowing users to test the usefulness and convenience of Optimus in their daily lives before deciding to buy. Also, even if the selling price of Optimus is as Tesla committed at 20 Gs, we believe many people will still hesitate to purchase it, because 20 grand is no small amount. Therefore, renting helps relieve customers of a lot of financial stress. Instead of having to spend a large sum to own a robot, customers can rent the robot at a much lower price. This approach makes it accessible to a lot more people, including those of us with limited budgets. This is just one of the few plans announced regarding Tesla's Optimus commercial program. Elan's ambitious vision for Tesla's Optimus robot focuses on creating an affordable, versatile humanoid robot that will ultimately be essential for both industries and households. With a price ranging from 20 to 30 grand, the Optimus robot costs Tesla only $10,000 to make, allowing for massive profits. But to get millions or even billions of customers to buy Optimus, that's the real challenge. In the past, Elon often admitted that he was very concerned about the potential dangers of AI, but it seems that his perspective has changed somewhat recently. According to Elon, the potential for AI to bring positive impacts to humanity is very high, estimated around 80 to 90 percent, while the risks only account for 10 to 20 percent. Specifically, Elon participated in a lively, direct dialogue with Dr. Peter Demandis a leading futurist and prominent American entrepreneur. The conversation focused on hot topics like the future of technology, space exploration, and the challenges that humanity faces. The dialogue quickly became animated when Dr. Demandis questioned Elon about his stance on recent warnings regarding the dangers of AI. As we know, Optimus is the product that represents Tesla's biggest AI technology. The brain of Optimus, according to Elon, is a leading brain in AI and no competitor can compare with Tesla. Not only the brain, we bet that you can't find any robot out there that has as beautiful and human-like design as the Optimus. The new design of Gen 3 is going to be a masterpiece by your Zen, and we don't know what Tesla will change when Gen 2 is already practically perfect. Elon didn't reveal much when he wrote on X that the new Optimus design, which will be completed later this year, is something special. Basically, we think Optimus has finished upgrading his 22 degrees of freedom hand, a hand that belongs to the Gen 3 version. Optimus's movement speed has also increased in the last couple of months, and Tesla said that they got one final update for Optimus later this year. All in all, there's a lot going on with this robot in the last two months of the year, so it's definitely worth looking forward to. During this time, Tesla's also been regularly updating the process of Optimus. The recent demo video has demonstrated that it can climb stairs, marking a significant advancement in mobility. Even more notably, its ability to self-charge and analyze the surrounding environment allows Optimus to navigate a wider variety of terrains. You can see it perform many tasks, such as opening the trunk of a car and getting out luggage, handing items to staff, or carrying a heavy battery tray, all of which showcases the hard work and effort of Tesla's bot team. Elon recently said that he believes that AI capabilities are increasing at a rate of 100 times a year, and predicted that even in four years, the world can expect AI to be 10,000 times better than it is today. And another crazy claim Elon continues to make is that Optimus will be so numerous that it could be considered a planet of robots. Specifically, Elon said, I think by 2040, probably there are more humanoid robots than people. Every country will have an AI or multiple AIs, and there will be a lot of robots, way more than people. Oh my goodness. Now, this doesn't seem to be the first time that Tesla's CEO has made bold statements about the population of robots. Previously, Musk also asserted that everyone in the world would want to own an Optimus or even more than one, leading to a potential ratio of robots to humans being equal. Since Optimus has not yet hit the market, it's clear we can't determine the demand for these robots or how many people are going to want to buy one. Elon repeatedly expressed confidence that these robots will soon get commercialized at a very attractive price, only around 20 to 30 grand, 
when that's half the price of a Tesla EV, stating that at this price, anyone could own a versatile assistant capable of performing various tasks. He is also quite confident that in the not-too-distant future, robots will become an essential part of daily life and could even replace humans in different fields. In the discussion, Elon also notes that he believes AI will be able to do anything that humans can do in the next one to two years, and by 2028, AI will have the capability to do what all humans combined could do with a total population of 8 billion people. This makes us truly believe that a future where humans live is a paradise-like state that could become a reality. At that point, people wouldn't need to lift a finger as robots and machines will do everything. Humans would only need to eat, enjoy, and relax. In such a future, every elderly person and child could have a personal robot caregiver. When you look at all the tasks that Optimus can currently do, it's clear that it's going to need a few more years to become fully useful. Tesla released the first prototype back in 2022, so it's quite early in their journey toward that goal. Ultimately, Optimus will be able to do a wide range of tasks to support us humans. But when talking about the large number of robots in the world, let's be frank, it's still a story of the distant future. We can't be sure whether Tesla can actually do all that or not. Personally, I'm kind of skeptical due to the fact that many people are still kind of scared, even averted to humanoid robots. Many people still feel shy and worried at the prospect of robots attacking humans, kind of like a Terminator scenario in sci-fi movies. And in the end, not everybody can afford to buy an Optimus, even at a selling price point of 20 grand. So while Elon might be painting an attractive picture, for now, his claim still seems a bit crazy. However, we still believe that the demand for Optimus is going to be massive, especially companies that are going to be ordering it in huge quantities like Amazon, Walmart, and Pepsi. As Elon wrote on X, Tesla will have truly useful humanoid robots in low production for Tesla internal use next year and hopefully high production for outside companies by 2026. He said production will begin in limited quantities next year and will be mass produced in 2026 for delivery to other companies. The total number of workers across all Tesla factories right now is about 100,000. Replacing just a small portion of these with Optimus could lead to major financial savings. Tesla's Optimus in the future will enable massive cost savings for Tesla and other companies at the factory level. Unlike human workers, a humanoid robot can operate for extended shifts longer than eight hours without needing breaks, vacations, or sick leave. It doesn't need health insurance, retirement plans like a 401k or lunch breaks, and they don't experience fatigue. While occasional maintenance will be necessary, it's not a significant concern compared to the myriad of expenses associated with human labor. The truth is, is that deploying Tesla's Optimus robot on production lines not only brings benefits in cost and efficiency, but could also intensify competition among companies across various industries, all seeking to cut labor costs. As Optimus gains the ability to perform complex tasks with high precision and durability, companies are going to recognize the potential to reduce their reliance on human labor, which currently represents a pretty big portion of total operational expenses. Once pioneering businesses that adopt Optimus get a competitive cost advantage, other companies aren't going to want to get left behind, and this could lead to a race to deploy automated robots like Optimus to ensure they can compete in terms of pricing and production efficiency. Companies that fail to keep up with this trend risk falling behind as competitors may be able to offer products at lower costs with faster turnaround times. That's precisely Tesla's strategy. Similar to prioritizing deliveries of semi-trucks for big companies, the cost-saving benefits of these trucks are going to drive demand, making every company want to buy one. Returning to the Optimus, many reports indicate that the Optimus robot was human-assisted during the company's Wii Robot event last month. A bunch of videos from attendees show that the Optimus robot still required guidance intervention from Tesla's human staff standing around it. This has led most people to believe that the robots are not yet fully autonomous. Elon Kovacs shared, while of course they were human-assisted to some extent to help showcase our vision of an amazing future, they walked, bounced, and danced on their own for about four hours straight with only one fall. After this controversy, many believe that if Tesla sells Optimus to customers, the users will have to train the robots themselves or intervene too frequently in their tasks. And if that's the case, they'd never buy an Optimus. Instead, they'd go to the Chinese robots, which are cheaper and likely more reliable. We don't think so, though. You know, even in the fiercely competitive Chinese electric vehicle market, Teslas still remain the best sellers, despite their prices being double that of their Chinese counterparts. We believe that if Optimus enters the Chinese market in the coming years, it's still going to dominate. This has led us to carefully consider Optimus Gen 2 and its cheaper competitor, the Unitree G1, a Chinese robot priced at 16000 said to have a fairly stable set of specs. 
First of all, let's start with the design. As we emphasized several times, up to this point, very few robots can match Optimus in terms of refinement and sophistication. Just think about it. How many other robots out there have emerged that look completely out of place next to Optimus? Some argue the design isn't a big deal, but we bet you wouldn't want to buy a robot that scares the kitties and makes them scream as soon as you bring it home, right? However, it can't be denied that Unitree's G1 has undergone a big transformation compared to the earlier H1 version. Standing at 4 foot 2, the G1 is now compact, friendly, and accessible, more so than the H1. The downsizing of its dimensions seemed to serve the purpose of simplifying the G1's design. At the very least, the Chinese manufacturers removed some of the less overwhelming black color, making the Unitree G1 more appealing and less intimidating. A shorter size, combined with a design primarily made of aluminum, allows the G1 to hit a weight of about 77 pounds, light enough for agility, yet sturdy enough for tasks. Like Optimus, the Unitree G1 also has lights on its face. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Optimus, standing at 5'8", offers a clear advantage in environments that require reaching high, such as factories and warehouses where it can easily do things at height without the need for additional tools. The standard size allows Optimus to adapt smoothly to different tasks. Meanwhile, the compact design of the G1 is a significant advantage when working in tight spaces where flexibility is top priority. With its snug dimensions, the G1 is the ideal choice for small offices or complex areas that require dexterity and agility. Both robots are equipped with advanced sensor systems, but each takes a unique and distinctive approach. Optimus integrates a network of sensors based on neural technology and multiple 2D cameras, all seamlessly connected to Tesla's FSD software, not only allowing Optimus to see further, but to automatically analyze and map surroundings, accurately identify objects, and provide detailed info about them. In contrast, Unitree's G1 uses 3D LiDAR technology combined with Intel's RealSense cameras, providing superior depth perception. Not only is the design impressive, but Optimus's hands also showcases Tesla's superior technology. Analysts claim that's the best robot hands in the market. Musk has confirmed that the hands of Optimus account for half of the engineering effort from the team, and as a result, the hands of Tesla's bot only have a very short distance to cover compared to human hands, offering 22 degrees of freedom compared to 27 found in humans. Meanwhile, we bet you won't be too fond of Unitree G1's hands. With a three-finger design instead of five fingers like Optimus, they appear a lot more primitive. The degrees of freedom for G1s have not yet been disclosed, but we estimate it to be quite limited, about five to six degrees of freedom, given that the total degrees of freedom for the entire body is confirmed to be 23. Tesla has showcased many impressive tasks that Optimus can do, both in demo videos and in the real world. In contrast, Unitree's not demoed its robot's capabilities in real-world scenarios, but in its introductory video, the G1 robot performs a few noteworthy actions like cracking open a walnut, opening a water bottle, and securely holding a frying pan. Right now, Optimus has a movement speed of about 2 miles an hour, but Tesla wants to up it to 5. Meanwhile, Unitree's G1 is faster, around 4.5 miles an hour, allowing it to handle tasks quickly and respond well in high-demand situations, and that can be seen as a plus. The fact is that Optimus' speed is still kind of slow and is often compared to Joe Biden in terms of comments about its mobility. While we can't deny that, Tesla's focused on improving this capability as evidenced by Optimus moving significantly faster than it did last year. Right now, not only against Unitree G1, but also against many other competitors, Optimus has significant advantages in operational time with its 2.3 kilowatt hour battery, allowing it to run for over 8 hours on one charge and featuring rapid charging capabilities due to its ability to self-charge. In contrast, the G1 has a shorter usage time of 2 hours, requiring multiple charges throughout the day for frequent use. The reality is that Tesla's got the battery advantage since they already make the electric vehicles, meaning that they not only have a big supply but also utilize advanced battery technology. The Tesla bot is confirmed to use 4680 batteries. Both Tesla and Unitree have achieved remarkable pricing in a market where humanoid robots typically go from 70,000 to 300 grand. However, Elon has confirmed that the price of the Tesla bot will only be between $20,000 and $30,000 thanks to in-house battery and motor production, as well as leveraging the advantages of their five existing gigafactories. Meanwhile, Unitree G1 starts at an attractive price point of $16,000 achieved by reducing material costs and using simpler motors while maintaining high-performance standards. Clearly, customers are always going to want the affordable robots, and Tesla has repeatedly made promises regarding price. Since both these robots have not yet been commercialized, we ultimately can't determine their official prices. 
But a common conclusion for both of these bots is that they represent significant advancements in affordability, production scale, and user accessibility, indicating that humanoid robots are getting closer to practical everyday applications in both industrial and household settings, something that many other robotic companies have yet to achieve. Now, do you want to buy an Optimus to do your household chores? How do you think Tesla Optimus will impact the labor and factories in the future? Will it truly be ordered by other companies out there? Thank you for watching this video. If you found the content helpful and want to explore more exciting info about Tesla EVs and Optimus robots, make sure you hit the like button and share this video. And also, make sure you to subscribe to Tesla Car World and turn on those notifications so you never miss out. We look forward to seeing you here next time. Thanks for watching. Take care, stay safe, and God bless you. Goodbye.